figure on what uh, Amara brings to this team in terms of his defensive play? All the other uh, I think there's, you know, number one is on ice play is one of a, uh, of a player that refuses to stop working. It, it's a display every day, practice. He enjoys coming to the rink and playing, and he only knows one way, and he gives 110% in practice in the games. In any of the events that you participate in, he seems to be the guy that always has a smile on his face, and he has a, a little bit of a different sense of humor, being that he speaks about five different languages, and he mumbles in all of them. <laughs> so uh, he's just a funny guy and a, a good guy to be around, and he, and he plays hard for his teammates. Winona says he, uh, he's a different player the second time around. Do you see that? Yeah, I think he's a more confident player. I think he was, you know, in his first year, again, coming you know, from Europe and then playing on the big ice surface and then coming here and getting an opportunity to play with us for 48 games. It was kind of kind of like a, it was a baptismal, like his rookie year and the playoffs and all that was a, a new eye-opener to him. And then he went back to and played in the KHL. And then it seems like he's a lot more confident with the puck right now. Well, it seems to be one of those guys who, even if he never scored a goal, he'd still be a real impact. Well, exactly. I and mean, he blocks shots, he takes the body, he plays in the dirty areas, and he's hard to play against. Have you made a conscious effort to use him more or differently this time around, or is it just kind of a moment? Yeah, well, I, I think we've, we've tried to fit him higher in our lineup. That is really, because when he was here before, he was basically, we'd used him as a fourth line player, penalty killer, and now we're using him more as a regular in our top nine. And we feel he can go up higher in our lineup and go with any line. You know, and we have tried that in, in some of the games where we haven't had a lot of things going. We've mixed it up, and he's a, a guy that you can move up and down in the lineup. And he, he takes face-offs, too. So, you know, he's, he's one of those guys that when you, you ice the puck, you're not biting your nails as a coach if he's on the ice because he'll battle for it, and, he, and he'll take a face-off and do everything he can to win it. Have you seen Holland take advantage of the more opportunity? Yeah, I think the difference, again, it, it's a lot similar to what the uh, Clarkson and uh, the Clarkson situation when he, when he got the power play minutes, he's, he's feeling good about himself. The reset button was set and he's made a contribution. And I think with Holland, when he asked for penalty killing minutes, it's allowed him to get into the game more. He's found a niche there and, you know, he feels comfortable, a lot more comfortable playing the game. And he's not chasing the game, he's, you know, he's attacking the game. So he requested those two? Or? Yeah, he asked if, if that was a, a, there would be an opportunity for him to start into the pen, penalty killing role that, that uh, he would, didn't see that he was going to get much power play time when we we're fully healthy. So we made a conscious effort to give him what he asked for and, and he's done a heck of a job for us. You comment on the week that uh, Gardner's had? It's been quite a, quite a week for him with the injury and then game. Yeah, the well, that's Jake. Tonight's game. Tonight's game is another prime example of a young player, you know. One hand, what happened, and then the other hand, what happened again. But one positive, one negative, one negative, one positive. You know, it was, but, you know, he made a difference in, in the end and when it counted.